Okay, so this is like future me coming to you um, because you'll see me in this situation again because I, as I was filming all this, I realized I didn't have an intro to this video. So I wanted to share with you that this video is sponsored by eBay and it is to discuss and tell you about their off authenticate program. So you guys know I like buying you know, luxury handbags and such, but I've never bought them off eBay because you just don't know what you're getting. So now you can actually send your bag to eBay and they are basically gonna act as your reseller, which is awesome so that when you're searching bags, you can see authenticity verified and you know that eBay has like had their people look at the bag and then now you know it's real, which is so awesome. Like you would think that they would have done this earlier because of all the things that are sold on eBay that should be authenticated. But um, I'm gonna insert a clip because while I could have just talked about this program to you, I actually had a bag that I had bought my mom, but it was like an inch not wide enough for her. So I just had it sitting for a while. So I'm gonna insert the clip below and you can see the process. Okay, so I have this bag here. It's never been worn, used, carried, etc. Voila, paper's still in there. Let me see if I can pull out the um authenticity okay seven hours later so this is the strap and i found the authenticity cards voila okay very quick process so you go to the ebay authenticate website you go to start selling um, if you submit something before may 31st you'll get 90 percent of the selling price it's probably like a limited time promotion okay so then you hit the actual website I just entered Prada, Galleria, new with tags. Then something pops up and asks you the category, clothing, shoes, accessories, um, and then you continue. Okay, so then you hit a page that allows you to verify information. I'm not gonna scroll down here because my address is on here, but they do give you a free label. You can print it from the website or they'll also send it to your email. Okay, so I found a box big enough for this. I didn't wanna drop the handles. And then I'm gonna put it in like a TJ Maxx bag just in case, I don't know, I'm always paranoid when I ship any kind of like leather good that it's going to somehow go through a storm, but um, if anyone's ever bought purses from me, I tend to wrap them in something waterproof. Okay, a little cushion. And we have our label on there. April 4th, they received it. You get a notification, and then they let you know that they will authenticate it for you. Four days later, they sent another email saying that they had put it up, and here it is. Okay, so here it is. They've listed it as pre-owned with normal signs of wear. I bought it brand new, but I mean, it's up to them to authenticate. If you allow a reseller to, you know, do all this for you, it's up to them to determine the condition. I will say this, as someone who has consigned with pretty much all of the top resellers, the pictures that eBay has done are like, far superior. I have literally hated every single photo of anything I've ever sold. Sunglasses, accessories, wallets, handbags. Whenever I see the photos of my items, I tend to think I would never buy that because it's horrible quality. So I think there's like eight photos, but they're all really good photos that like have like buyer appeal, you know what I mean? So they really focus in on where they see like an issue so there's like a tiny tiny hole so I feel like they're very what's the word detailed as far as like finding stuff like obviously when I looked at this bag I didn't see that little dot but you know I think the photos are fantastic so obviously my bag is up on the website um, I'll link it below if you're interested in my purse but like tons of other things at the moment I believe there's like maybe a dozen designers that they accept and if your bag doesn't sell in, I don't know what this was. <laughs> if your bag doesn't sell in like 60 days, they send it back to you at no charge. So that's like super, ooh, super awesome. Okay, so, Byredo. 
This is a brand I heard growing up probably in high school and then in college and then throughout the years. It's like this cool girl brand and I'm like, okay. And I wanna say like a few years ago, I like smelled every scent at like a Nordstrom counter and I was just like, you know, I don't really get it. But then, okay, this scent, the Bald of Freak, I got this as a sample and like, I don't know, some kind of freebie purchase thing obsessed i never thought that i would be into a scent like this because it's kind of i tend to go woodsy or i don't know i really like gorgeous gardenia i love everything viva la juicy um what else replica that by the fireplace i either go kind of like floral like sharp floral with like a musk base like not actual floral and then woodsy musky so something like this it's kind of fresh I, it's a weird i almost want to be like oh it's kind of like soapy and lotiony but it's not like it's super sophisticated it smells amazing um so i didn't want to splurge and get a big bottle i've realized that big bottles i kind of get sick of fragrances especially when you live in a place that has four seasons you tend to do seasonal scents so for me at least i've tried to not buy large bottles so this trio comes with bald of freak Blanche, which is to me very lotiony. Like this is like an after shower scent. I don't know that I would ever wear this out. And then this is Gypsy Water, which I had never tried before either. And now I am obsessed. This is also kind of like a calming, soothing scent, but it has like a sharper, clean, clean vibe to it. These two. So I feel like I need the hair perfume for the gypsy water now. So this is the Balda Freak. This is gypsy water. I need to get this in this so good. And like this box, like oh, so gorgeous, like love. Okay, so next, Natasha Denona. So I buy the like little five pans and I like those, like the newer ones, Camel, Camel, I like a lot. And then she came out with another one that I picked up recently like a mini nude one. But I've kind of stayed away from her larger palettes because I had bought the Star palette, I wanna say a couple VIB sales ago, and I was kind of like, eh, like I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, so I returned it because it was really expensive. But then I was having lemmings for the Safari palette. Like I really enjoyed like the really smaller palettes I have. So I wanted the Safari palette. But as we know, Natasha Denona palettes are like really pricey. So I like, you know, you know, Google it and I'm like price checking and comparing and they had them on eBay. So eBay can be kind of weird sometimes depending on the seller because you're like, I don't know what I'm going to get. But the reviews were excellent. And then these Natasha Denona palettes usually run like what, 129, right? Okay, this is the, the gold palette. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this. They retailed for $99 with this seller, but if you bought two palettes, they gave you 15% off. And I was like, wait, see, so Asian, right? <laughs> so I was like, okay, what other Natasha Denona item? I mean, they have tons of other brands on their, on their, like the seller site, but I was like, okay, when I first saw this release, I was like, this is kind of stupid. But after like looking at swatches online and like, like, it's really awesome. I know this, like, natural lighting's not doing it justice, but this is a nude, like, a warm nude palette lover's dream. Love. And then, of course, these, I think, are fantastic. I know the reviews are mixed on this, but I like her matte formula, and I really like everything in here except for maybe stone. I'm just, I veer away from blue, gray, gray, blue kind of silver colors. And then here, initially, I didn't want this one either because I thought there was, like, blues, but they're more of, like, a teal um, turquoise green, so super love. So I got both of them for 160. Is that a really good price, right? Okay, so you know those days where you cannot wait for lunch because you know you have a really good lunch? Yeah, today was one of those days. Not my most Instagram worthy type avocado mashy situation, but avocado on top of this pumpernickel bread from Aldi that I showed you last week. It's like this like really good, thick, like dense kind of pumpernickel. I love 
pumpernickel everything, bread, crackers, pretzels, like everything. And I topped it with the Hawaiian seasoning salt. This one I got from World Market, I believe. Garlic, onion, black pepper. Really good, highly recommend. I like adding it to like sweet potato or, I don't know, because it has salt, I don't use it as often, but this is one of those things that just, ugh, it's so good. Okay, so I just got this in the mail and I like tore it up immediately. So it's just some of you guys are like, what? is this if you like making spring rolls at home and i know that maybe i paid i don't know i bought two one for me and for my mom and they're like 30 for both but if you have like an asian grocery near you and they sell these in the store they might be cheaper but i paid 15 for mine and i do not regret it at all so you can see that there are three sections so on the two ends you put water and in the center you place your rice paper. So, I'm not gonna make it right now, but I'm giving you a demonstration, because like this is like so exciting to me. I know that a lot of restaurants use this sometimes, but I haven't, it never occurred to me to buy one for myself, and now I'm like so excited. So then you just take that, oops, and then you just rotate it into the water, and then you can lay it on your plate, and then it'll just, it's just so much easier. Like there's been so many different ways of like moistening your rice paper, but this is like ideal, like I'm so happy. New purchase. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my videos are not as fancy as other people's. Um, I use Windows Movie Maker, and I believe they've stopped updating it, and my computer crashes every so often, so I was like, I need to just upgrade and get an Apple and use the software that's in here. I'm really excited because I'll probably talk about this again later, but I feel like I really liked doing hauls and reviews. And when I was doing hauls and reviews, a lot of people were doing makeup tutorials. But I feel like we are back to doing a lot of reviews now. And I feel like a lot of YouTube is very review focused. So I'm really excited. I have something really exciting planned for May. This will come into play. Hopefully the videos will just be better. Um, yes. I did get this off eBay. I will link the seller below, quite important. This is something that I was a little hesitant to buy, like not in store or like not officially from Apple, but it's fantastic. I've been playing around with it. Like I haven't edited any videos on it yet, but you know, for like daily, like normal people use, it's been great. Okay, another avocado toast. Today's ugly, ugly version is brought to you with umami from Trader Joe's. Okay, so I do toast like the bread first. They also have um, a rye version at Aldi, so I might try that too. Like, I'm so into this. It's like all I want now. All okay, hi guys. So I wanted to do a thing where I'm sharing my makeup with you. We haven't done that in a while. Um, I feel like I'm too chatty because it would take up like 15 to 20 minutes of the vlog and that's dumb. So let's see how quickly we can do this. And maybe we can figure out like a, a smarter, better way to still talk about makeup and not have it like be the vlog, okay? Okay, Um, for my base, I have the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. It's like a highlighter concealer. I have it in the shade medium. It's on my entire face. Um, I can see that my neck is just, well actually this lighting's fine. Okay, I was thinking usually when I have like lights on, um, my face will be lighter because like the light is on my face, but this is actually pretty good um, Love it. It's like really It has like medium coverage if you do Oh, Sorry, I feel like there's a sumo here. Yep um, Light medium coverage depending on what you need, but it's so nice and I have it under the eyes It's basically like I have it on my entire face is what's happening. So Yes, love this um, And it's really nice under the eyes. I say put some on the back of your hand and then go in with like a sponge. It's so pretty. For my highlight, and sometimes I mix this in with my foundation, but it's the Lumi Glotion. I have it in the shade Light. This one doesn't make my skin brighter. It just blends into my skin. So you can see where the highlight is, but it's not like, you know, glaringly different. So it's there on the cheekbones, down the nose, above the lip, and I have a little bit like over here, but it's just not super obvious of a highlight. On the lips, we have the L'Oreal Colory Shine and Glossy Fawn. I have tried so many different shades in this line, but this one is still my favorite. I think the formula varies a little bit, um, and it's pretty true to color. Yes, favorite. See how much I have used. 
Okay, then we have a Lash Paradise. I've talked about this before and I'm like, I don't like it. I don't see the big deal. I started using Revitalash in December and now I'm like, I get it. I am at that point where like now when I use a lot of the mascaras that a lot of people love, I can like understand because I actually have like extra lashes now. It's so good. If you haven't tried Revitalash, I recommend it because it's worked for me. Like I feel like I can like not wear false lashes and still feel like my eye look looks pretty good. Um, so yes, I understand this now. I also do not get the waterproof version. I know so I get Like one coat of a waterproof mascara on then I put this on and it looks great for the rest of the stuff That's not oh <laughs> The whole point of sharing all those L'Oreal products with you is that there's 20% off a $30 purchase on the L'Oreal store on eBay so my hair dye also included in the sale so I love that other things from L'Oreal that I don't think are on their site, but I also really love are everyone's been talking about this i'm in the shade vanilla it is really really good um and i feel like it really is all skin types kind of a foundation like you will find a way to love this it is like a natural finish but on me especially now that it's winter still for whatever reason i still like adding a drop of oil i like the flower beauty one a lot oh my god okay i have been just full force jumping into flower beauty and i love it um they're coming out with bronzers which is very exciting I'm like rambling now. Okay, and then the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have it in the shade Pecan, and I also really love this. For all the things that have been compared to Shape Tape, this is the only one that I think is like comparable. Like, this one is good. And it might even be slightly better because it's not as like drying. Non-L'Oreal things. I'm using the Safari Palette that I showed you earlier on the eyes, and then the bronzer I showed you last week from the Electric Wonder collection. This is in Sun Soaked Strip and the lights might be taking away the color from my face. I'll show you this makeup in natural lighting in a bit. Okay, so I am going to go change and get ready for the- okay, actually, do you see this robe? Do you see how cute this is? Like when I saw it online, I was like, oh, it just looks like a fluffy robe, so I'm gonna get it. But when I saw that the collar was so cool and it's also on the sleeves, so adorable. I think the name of the designer is Carol Hawkman. I'll link it below. Okay, so here we are in natural lighting. Yeah, it looks less um, glowy because there's not like direct light shining on it, but very pretty, right? Like for a highlighting concealer, it's very like not highlighty which I don't know if that's like false marketing, but I don't want it. No one wants like shiny concealer, like reflective. It just doesn't look good. Okay, so was there more I was gonna tell you? <laughs> I guess we can like wrap up this video, right? Um, I thought that it wouldn't be fair to talk about the eBay Authenticate program without sharing some of my like misses with you because <laughs> While pretty much all of my purchases have been successful, I have had two situations wherein it did not work out. And that was probably me being dumb, but then also, you know, there's like a lot of sellers that are not selling you real stuff. So my rule of thumb when I buy anything off of eBay is I have to have one. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to buy it because I have nothing to compare it to. So I had bought a Laneige lip sleeping mask off of eBay. There was like, I got like a $5 coupon on it. So it was like very inexpensive. It was probably like, three dollars or four dollars and I got it and it was basically like the packaging container was fine but when I opened it it smelled weird and then when I went to go touch it it was basically like tinted Vaseline so whatever but it was so cheap I didn't fight that and then another one that I'm kind of embarrassed about but I bought like it was like two like a double pack of Tarte Shape Tape and it was like when I was using it as foundation a lot so I was like okay let me just get it cheaper it was clearly fake, like the packaging was off, the smell was off, like it had a scent which was odd and then like the texture was like, it was like okay, like it was an okay concealer but I was like this is not Tarte Shape Tape. So I emailed the seller and I was like this is fake, they refunded me the whole thing. So I don't know, it's like I didn't even make eye contact with the camera, I'm like so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, so, okay so to balance the whole thing out let me share like some successes. Uh, the Spanx leggings I showed you guys in like December. I feel like it's hard to replicate th those. Orbe hair oil and the body oil 
and these sunglasses. So, and again, they're all things that I already have. So I had like, I don't know, three pairs of these and I bought one off of eBay. They're the same, I love them. They are my absolute favorite sunglasses. If you told me to get rid of all of my sunglasses, I would keep these. And I have a, what is it called? Like I'm gonna do like a updated sunglass collection for you guys because, I mean, because it's almost summer and that's like exciting. But they have two pairs of these on eBay and I kind of want one of the pairs. I think one of them is like a bluish purple like gradient, which I, This girl has driven by two times in the last like minute. I don't, but like both times from the same di So weird. Guys, I'm like literally waiting for her to drive by again. It's been like four minutes. Okay, anyway, she looks like the girl from Broad City. Any, okay, what was I sharing with you? Oh, successful things that I bought. You know, Orbe hair oil, the Byredo. Okay, I have that hair perfume in today. It is so good, and I've used it multiple times this week. Like, the scent really stays, like, in your hair. Like, if you wear the hair perfume, I really don't think you need to wear, like, perfume perfume, which is awesome. Um, I'm, like, rambling now. Be sure to check out the eBay Authenticate program if you have something you want to sell or if you are interested in buying, but like me, you've never been, like, willing to make the purchase because you're not sure if it's real. Well, now you know. Okay, so next week, if you are still here watching the video right now, next week's vlog, so many fun things. Um, I've showed you guys like my background just now when I was showing you the makeup. So the beauty room situation is slowly coming together like to a point where like I'm gonna film in there now. I'm really excited. Um, so we'll talk about more of that. And Sephora VIB sales coming up soon, I know, so we'll talk about that. And I just have some like, jewelry and all kinds of fun things to share with you. So, thank you to eBay for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for always giving me the same amount of love on my sponsored videos as you do my regular videos because you know me, right? You know I'm like, it's not like, I love this foundation that you've never seen me use, right? Okay, anyway, that's so much shade right now for the community. Um, I will see you guys next week.